to spark up a bowl and tuck yourselves in. Once upon a time is about to begin. The Jew Among Thorns. We're going to tell you a story tonight about uh, a servant. Who is possibly Jewish, but we don't know. The servant works for this rich man, and he's been working for him for a year. And after a year, the rich man's like, I don't... I don't need to pay this guy. Uh, I should actually probably just save the money for myself. He's loyal because this this servant, he would get up before everybody and, and stay up late and, and go to bed last. And First in, last out. Super Opposite. devoted. He was like, if I do good, then good will happen for me. So he just keeps on working. And at the end of the year, he doesn't get paid. He's like, all right, well, I'm going to stick it out because I'm, I'm a, you know, this is what I'm going to do. And he ain't got no money. <laughs> At least I get a roof yeah. over my head, yeah. you know, I get fed. But, you know, I would like to see what's out there. So uh, he, he keeps on working. Um, second year comes around, and the rich man, he thinks about it. He's like, you know what, let me check my pockets. And he didn't have anything in his pockets, so he, he didn't. He's like, all right, well, I guess I'm just going to keep on working because that's what I do. But I really would like to see what's out there. Third year comes around, end of the third year, and he didn't, still didn't pay him. And the servant was like, dude, I, I would really like to get paid. Like, I want to see the world. I want to see what else is out there. I would really appreciate getting what I deserve here. And the rich man was like, you know what? You are a good servant. I'm going to pay you. Hell yeah. <laughs> exactly what it's worth. And he... Reaches in his pockets and he pulls out three hellers. Yes. Three solid gold hellers. One for each year he works. The, this guy only really living in this rich man's house and never really venturing outside, never really knowing much about money. He was like, hey, that'll fill my purse. He gave him three hellers. And so a heller is, ger- is German currency and it's valued at one one hundredth of a rupee. Uh, and a rupee is... Uh, one cent in American currency. So the servant actually earned point zero 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 four five for three years. For three years, of not work. even a cent. Inflation, it's thirteen cents. So then he goes and he's <laughs> jumping and he's singing. And what? He's so- <laughs> three hellers. He's Make so- it rain. He's so stoked that he's got this money. And he's skipping, jumping and skipping and, and hopping. And he gets to a bush and this dwarf pops out. He was like, why are you so happy? And he's like, I got, I, I got money. I ain't got a care in the world. Three years pay in my pocket, yo. And the dwarf's like, oh, do ya? How much, how much you got? It's three dollars. It's like 13 cents. But he was probably like, bo- like talking it up like, no, man, I don't want to, I don't want to brag or nothing. And he's obviously a dip. Because he told him the right amount of what he had instead of <laughs> underselling it yeah. in case he's going to get robbed. What's a dwarf going to do to me? Sure. The dwarf's like, uh, I, I'm old. I can't work. Can you? How about how about you hook hook a brother up? Because you're young and you can you know you can make thirteen cents easy <laughs> in, in another three years. But I'm I'm old. He's no longer able to grow his own for Food. trade and things like that so now he needs that currency yeah at that point i'd be like why like well if you're old then you're probably gonna die and like i <laughs> might as well just keep the money anyway this servant is generous and he gives the dwarf the money gets a wish for each heller so he was like okay so for my first wish i want a blow pipe so that i may hit anything i aim it at i want so i want a fiddle that i if once i play People have got to dance. They got to no dance. Matter no matter what. No matter what. Like, stop what you're doing and dance. And then I also want to be able to have, like, Jedi mind powers. Just grant me any favor I want. He just got superpowers, a blowpipe, and a fiddle. <laughs> the request came in order. It was, yes, I want the blowpipe. I want to be able to kill anybody. Uh, I want the fiddle so that they have to dance. And then he was like, eh. And then I guess I just want to control everybody <laughs> with my powers. <laughs> He's like, eh. And everything else. I want all of the rest of the things. <laughs> That's basically what he asked for. And he got it. Uh, just like that, all those things were in the bush, and the dwarf grabbed them uh, and ga- right. gave him the fiddle and he the blowpipe. And, and the red pill. It all from, from his bush. bush. <laughs> He's uh, skipping along merrily uh, with all these things, and he comes to a Jew standing under a tree listening to a bird sing. And I guess the Jew was like, 
That bird sings so loudly for such a small animal. I wish it were here so I could eat it and encompass its power. And then he could he could sing that way. So then the servant comes up and he's like he's like, "Oh, I can get that for you." And he blows it a dart and kills it. So he's an accomplice now. Bird murder or birder, if you will. And there's a thorn bush underneath the tree, like a 12-foot tall bush. Shoots it. Down into the thorn bush and the servant feels like he's you know, nothing can touch me. I have superpowers. So he's like, hey, Rogue, go get your, your bird that you wanted. He didn't like being called Rogue. And he's like, hey, don't call me a Rogue. Yeah, I'm <laughs> super offended right now, but yeah, I'll definitely do that. Because you shot it. You were gracious enough to shoot it for, down for me. I'll be the dog and go get it. That's right, you will. And then he goes and crawls underneath the bush. And he gets in there. And the servant's like, this would be a great time to play the fiddle. He's in the bush, and he starts playing some dueling banjos or some really shitty music. But no matter what it is, this guy inside the bush, the Jew, uh, he has to start dancing. And he gets up, and he starts dancing. Like, his legs starts to twitch. And then the servant starts getting more and more into it. Like, oh my god, this actually works. I can totally make this guy dance in the middle of this bush. <laughs> so he's d- dancing inside the bush, and he's getting scraped up. And he, like, rips off his, his, he rips his clothes up and combs his beard. It's not literal, but it... Like it's scratched in his jawline. It combed his face. <laughs> it got right through the skin. Then when he starts dancing, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't want to do this. I know this for sure. And the Jew was like, dude, quit it. Like, I don't like your music. Please stop playing. The servant right. told the Jew after he begged him to stop. The servant was like, you fleeced people enough. Uh, now it's time that thorns will do the same to you. Dude in the, the bush was like, dude, if you stop, I will give you a purse full of gold. There's another purse. He's like, that's kind of you. And I do have to admit that you sure danced real nice. So he stops and he takes the purse and he skips away. And the Jew crawls out and waits for the servant to get off in the distance. Yeah, he was pretty scared. <laughs> He was like, I just ran in thorns for no reason. I didn't want to go in thorns. And then I had to dance in there. Oh, that's right. Something's up with that guy. That makes sense. You miserable musician, you beer house fiddler. Wait until I catch you alone. I will chase you until you wear the soles off your shoes. You ragamuffin, just put a groschen in your mouth so that you will be worth six hellers. The Jew is pissed off, and he's like, I'm going to go to the judge. I'm telling Judge, sir, oh, woe is me. See how a godless man has robbed me and abused me in the open road. A stone on the ground would feel sorry for me. My clothes are ripped into shreds. My body is pricked and scratched to pieces, and what little I owned has been taken away with my purse. Genuine ducats, each piece more beautiful than the others. For God's sake, let the man be thrown into prison. Well, that's what happened. They got to the judge. The judge was hanging out in his chambers. And he's like, dude, all this... This guy, uh, this guy sucks. He's got, like, lots of power. And he totally called me a Jew. <laughs> or no, a rogue, sorry. Listen, listen, let me tell you what he did. Listen, look at, look, scratches every, look, look at my beard. It's been combed. He, he got, he combed my beard. I'm, I was in a bush. He called me a rogue. I don't appreciate that very much. Now, oh, yeah, top it all off, I had a bunch of gold. Uh, that I got rightfully, legally, and, you know, didn't steal it at all. At all. Uh, and I would appreciate it if you, you'd take some action. The judge was like, judge was like, was it a soldier that, that did this with a saber? Well, then y- you better run. <laughs> they obviously didn't do the job. So, well, then he said, no, he looks like this, and he's got my purse of gold. He's got my gold and he's got a fiddle around his neck. He's easy to recognize. Any guy that's levitating out there, you'll know. You'll know. But he's got a... Levitating? No, he's got mind powers. So the uh, the judge's men go get him. They find the, the coin purse. The servant says that he never touched the Jew or took his money. He did it willingly. He told him the story. He's like, he did these things. No, I didn't. Maybe you didn't. And then just like, he's reaching for lies like flies on the wall. So the judge didn't believe him and he sent him to the gallows. So then he asks the judge if he can have one last request. 
And the judge says something about as long as it's not for your life. He says something about <laughs> no, he wants to play one last song on his fiddle pipe. Because you would have to. It didn't even matter. The guy, the judge was like, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't we let him play one more song? And the Jew was like, don't you dare. Don't you do it. But the judge had no choice, really, because it was a request. So you had to give it to him. And he did it. And he had three strums. He had the first strum. Everybody started shaking and quivering. And then the second, the second stroke, everyone lifted their legs, and then uh, and the the hangman let let him go. And then the third stroke, everybody came. Everyone came to see why everyone's dancing. And they and then they started dancing. They just walked into like there was a threshold line at which like if you were walking up, you didn't start dancing, and then you did. But everybody like even dogs were dancing. Everyone joined. Young, fat, thin dogs and cats. <laughs> And Jews. And Yeah. Everybody was just dancing with each other. And then the uh, the judge was like, um, go I'll I'll give you your life back if you stop. I won't I won't have them kill you. And he's like, Well that'll be fine and dandy. But I could have just said, Please don't kill me and then you'd be then you'd be good. He just he wanted to torture the out of people. He really was a bad guy. <laughs> he's like, I could just tell you to do it for me. But I'm just going to make you do a thing that you hate for a while instead. And literally, he could have just gone into the thing and said, Can you just not throw a trial? Uh, how about you just don't? Oh, that's all he had to do. <laughs> just walk in the judge. How about you just don't? And the judge is like, How about I just don't? <laughs> I'm just going to not. Hey, we're not going to do that anymore. It's off, guys. He said no. It's cool. And then and then he just is on his merry way. But no, he has to make everybody dance until... Cause, like, he rapes them of their will to not dance. <laughs> and then uh, the servant was like, all right, well, I'm not going to die anymore. So he takes the fiddle, puts it around his neck, and goes over to the Jew. And he was like, and don't you lie, you Jew. You rogue. You admit that you stole that money. Or I'll take my fiddle off my neck and begin to play again. It's like, all right, I stole it, I stole it. Basically just killed himself by admitting. Right? He's like, look, I'm either going to dance or I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm choosing death right now. Then the judge sends him to the gallows and hangs him. It's like the Salem witch trials. No investigation whatsoever in the story. It's like, he did it. Get him. <laughs> I didn't do it. He did. Get him. Damn.